Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. I'm Robbie Robertson, along with Oklahoma State head football coach Pat Jones. This past Saturday, the Cowboys traveled to Lawrence, Kansas, to take on the 18th-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Kansas won the ball game 26-18. Pat, it seemed to be a, a frustrating day from the standpoint the offense moved the ball all day long, just couldn't get it in the end zone enough. Would you agree well, with that? Well, I, I don't know how really frustrating, yeah, I guess in a sense it is, Robbie. On the same hand, it, this offensive unit has come a long way, I mean, in, in a fairly short period of time, mm -hmm. relatively speaking, and not that we're nearly the finished product by any stretch of imagination, but some of the pieces are starting to fit, and Kansas got a good defensive football team. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we got Dolph down in there several times, and, and again, just a, a miscue here or there kept you from having a legitimate chance to win. Well, I think we had a legitimate chance to win the ball game, and it had a real chance to tie it even with 40 seconds left in the game. But uh, again, we've gotten better, so I, I think from an improvement standpoint, no, it's not frustrating. Now, from the same hand, you had a chance at one and couldn't pull it off, and in that regard, probably it is to a degree. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get into the... First half highlights, uh, Kansas scored on their very first possession, so we'll pick it up with Oklahoma State's uh, uh, first possession, a rainy, misty day in Lawrence. Well, again, Hillary had broken off a, a bootleg of about 37 yards and got down there and scored. Here's John White in the same play coming up again. Uh, John got a little bit more playing time. We thought Spats, the fullback, had a good afternoon. White breaking off a run here. We, we had a hard time really ever having any kind of consistent field position. Kansas did a great job of really not turning the ball over to speak of. They threw that interception right before the half and fumbled a punt late. But other than that, uh, it's a good job here of Porter and Fred Thomas catching the ball. I won't say we handle our, their front people, but uh, we did a, we're getting better. We're getting better at the, the center, Scott Hall, and, and the two guards have improved. Good job of knocking down their containment. Good job of Porter. Shannon Culver, who had a great afternoon. I think he had like 10 catches for 130 yards. All right, here's John White on a counter play. Again, White ended up, I think, with 75 yards. Had a good afternoon. All right, here's the little uh, screen that we put in last week where that Missouri has run so effectively for years, and we copied that and put it in. All right, big play right here. Nice job of throwing and catching, and they knocked the ball loose from Culver. This was a big play in the ball game. Again, Shannon had a, a great, great afternoon. That one right there obviously hurt. Now they come back and drive down in here. Okay, here's Carlos Irving and a bunch of other guys. I didn't think consistently we played real well as far as inside running game. They ran the ball for like 280 yards, and 37 of it was in on Hillary's uh, bootleg that he ran in for a touchdown. But I thought we played well in the secondary. Uh, and again, defensively, the best thing we did was kind of tighten, tighten our belt and buckle down a little bit when we after a turnover. That's a good play here by Gildon. Other than really the long run by Hillary, and now he and he makes another big play on a, uh, a quarterback draw down the goal line late in the game. But uh, this guy has had a great career. He means an awful lot to the program at KU, and and again with a few exceptions that we thought we we played with him pretty well. All right, here here again now they're down on our end of the field, right out around midfield. All right, good job, Keith Burns. Burns continues to play well. He had another big day, 14 tackles. All right, here's a quarterback draw, miss him right there. Again, the, 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 the boot that he scored on early, that play in the one down the goal line. This kind of stuff right here uh, hurt us. I mean, I don't think you can, you, it's hard to win a ball game when you can let them make big plays in the inside run. Again, they never did turn the ball over. Uh, Cousins is, is, is a strong back, he's a tough guy. Uh, their backs are pretty tough people. All right, here's a good job here, Burns, and we're getting around the football well. We bent, but when we got down in there on this end of the field, uh, we played pretty sound defensively. There's a good job right here. We knock him out of bounds. It's going to uh, force a, a field goal by Eichloff. Of course, he's been one of the better kickers in the country and in this league for a pretty good while. And what, he had four field goals for right. the day, didn't Robbie? So, exactly. It's okay. Now, we come back. Here's a sprint out. All right, good job of Culver. A good job of Gary Porter. Good job of getting the contained knockdown. All right, here's Porter coming back. Threw the ball a little bit behind him. But um, Fred here's, Thomas here's Fred Thomas. There. Yeah, Fred had a good day. Again, Gary is continuing to get better as far as seeing things and, and getting a feeling of, of the tone of the game as far as what people are trying to do against him and what's probably going to be there. All right, here's Mark Spatz, the fullback, who I won't say had a big day, but for what we do with fullbacks, he had a good afternoon. Okay, good job here of Porter throwing the ball again to Culver. He threw a strike here. Shannon got it down, took a shot and held on to the ball. All right, this right here, 
was a, I, I have not seen a real clear picture of that, Robbie, as far as how close he was to catching that ball. Pretty close. All right, now, okay, Lawson Vaughn comes in. Uh, he's got, that was well within his range. He kind of pulled the ball a little bit. Missed two field goals in the first half. Uh, it didn't help us any, but again, he comes back and hits a 47-yarder later on. Kansas added a field goal early in the second quarter to make it 13-0, and now the Jayhawks uh, have it at their own 20. Well, again, this is this is fairly late, if it's best I recall. Okay, again, not not bad. Good job of, of flying around the football. Okay, here this is right before the half. I was, I think. No, no, it's, no. It's, we've, no we've I'm got, sorry. We're I'm about sorry. midway through that. I'm half. sorry. Good job, Keith Burns on, on Hillary. We made some pretty good tackles, and he is not easy to handle in the open field at all, as, as his statistics over the course of his career will attest to. So, uh, again, we're battling around. We've got the ball now. Again, back to punt, and you've got it back. Okay, here's Porter. Uh, this was a kind of it was a halfway broken route, and, and here's the same thing. Again, we had the slant on, and Culver came open in behind him. Gary threw the ball out. Nice job, Shannon Culver. Uh, and again, we've got it now out around midfield. The most encouraging thing was without good field position, we hit enough big plays, again, to get us in position. All right, on, on, we throw it out there to Denson. He's off down the sidelines. Uh, was about a man away from breaking. Here's the same play coming up again. 27 yards. See, we're motioning him across. All right, good job here. Uh, Rod Sanders, a fullback. Nice job of delivering the ball in stride. And again, as we've seen out of Denson, uh, once he gets loose, he's hard to contain. I thought it was really a, a good blend of as far as I don't remember how many times he touched the ball, but again, he has got such big play capacities. All right, here's Rod Sanders at fullback. I think he hurt his ankle again or something. He has had a jillion injuries throughout his career. All right, halfback pass right here. They jumped into a different, a little bit different kind of coverage, and uh, this was a big play in the course ball game. I can't fault Rafael for throwing it uh, out there like that. Again, I was afraid this guy was going get, to get loose down the sidelines. Well, now they've got the ball out around midfield. But you hold them, uh, Kansas doesn't get anything off that turnover, and you get one more chance to score before half. This surprised me a little bit, to be honest about it. They threw the ball late in the half, and we had some pressure on Hillary. Harmon intercepts it and, and was about a guy away from scoring. We call timeout with two seconds left on the clock. Lawson hit this ball good and hit it very solidly. He just pushed it out a little bit to the right. And barely missed, now it's 13 to nothing uh, KU at the half. And you've moved the ball offensively, uh, and with the exception of a couple of big runs by Hillary, uh, we did have three turnovers and two missed field goals, but this is still very much a ball game, and you you can play with oh, these oh guys. Oh, yeah, well, it was, we went in thinking we could play with them. We were obviously disappointed we didn't take advantage of those things, but knew very, very much that, that, that uh, again, yeah, like you say, this is a, a pretty even contest. we got to go in. If we can get some points on the board, you got a real chance. All right. We'll take a break, then we'll come back with second half highlights. Stay with us. The Pat Jones Show continues right after this. Oklahoma State had 205 yards total offense in the first half, trailed Kansas 13 to nothing. Let's get into the second half highlights now. Kansas scored on their first possession of the uh, second half to make it 20 to nothing. We pick it up with the Cowboys' second possession of the third quarter, Pat. Well, we had a three and out first series, which I, I thought was pretty important. Again, KU drove down there uh, and scored, but there was really, we, we were never really frustrated on this thing at all. I mean, it felt like you very much had a chance. Here's again that counter play, and John White ducks up inside. Uh, we added a, this is with a little bit different type of motion. You can see we've got people on the perimeter, and again, John ducks up inside and, and runs. I really, I, the more I see of this guy, the more I like him. I think he's really a good back. But uh, again, White, good afternoon here. So we've got a first down, and we're continuing to move the ball. Again, with few exceptions, I think we move the ball fairly consistently. Okay, and here's Burt Milner. Again, good job of Porter sitting back in there and, and, and seeing things. And, Again, I, I can't say our protection is spotless, but it's pretty good. Gary's got a chance here. Again, Bert, uh, Bert's had a shoulder that has been bothering him. He's, he's getting back. It's good to see him get back in action and, and make a big catch. And that helps our receiver core. Receiver core really played well, I think, as a unit. Okay, here's now Lawson Vaughn. This is important. Lawson comes in. He had missed a couple. He's a freshman. He was a little bit down in the dumps at halftime. Comes in and hits a 47-yarder. It's 20-3 to at this point. And again, like you say, very, very much a ball game. No more scoring in the third quarter. Uh, Kansas added a couple of field goals in the fourth quarter to make it 26 to three. Well, again, all right, here's the slant. Good job, Porter. This is good execution here. Nice throw, nice catch. Caught it in stride. Hit a crack and got down in here. Again, defensively, we are uh, back up. We have turned the ball over a couple times prior to this, and our defense held, again, and forced a couple of high field goals. 
Now, there was a little bit of a period of time in here, Robbie, that I thought Porter got a little bit rattled because their pass rush, which is pretty effective, mm -hmm. uh, finally got to him and uh, got a little bit antsy here and overthrew this. There was a little bit of discussion on whether to leave him in the ball game, but uh, again, I, I didn't think he was too rattled. These are things that he needs to learn as far as how to bounce back from this. All right, here's Tyner, who had a very good day punt balling, only punted four times. And Charlie Bowen, their catcher, fumbles the ball. That was really that in the, it was only turnover, that in the one prior to the half. We come here, it's a short yardage play. We turn around here and pitch it to John and get him circle. He, he, his momentum carried him out of bounds or he probably would have gone in and scored again. Here's White again. Boy, this is a nice, good, tough run. Watch him churn and fight. So we've got the ball down inside the five yard line. Porter sneaks and makes a first down. We, we sputter just a little bit down in here. Put Mark Williams in, we turn the guy loose on Mark. He gets ricocheted around pretty good. So now it's a, uh, this is a fourth down play, wasn't yes, it, right? Fourth and okay, five. boy, this is really a, a, a great catch here by Shannon Culver. Again, his best day is a, is a big time college football player. This is a good pass here. Okay, good job of Spats the fullback. All right, Porter's got time. Boy, I, this this was really a great catch. The kid had him covered. And I couldn't tell when it first happened whether he was in the end zone or not. Obviously, he was. It's touchdown Oklahoma State. So, uh, very, very much in the ball game here at this point. Right. Uh, that makes it uh, the point after. Makes it 26 to 10. Kansas goes back on offense. And we've got 246 to play here. And, and uh, you shut them down three and out. Well, we had talked about a possibility of onside kicking the ball and, and felt like we had a couple of timeouts left. Felt like they would try to bang it out against us, and, and they did. Uh, uh, Glenn and his, Glenn Mason, his crew, put, it, put some other kids in the ball game. We stop them, take the timeouts, get the ball back. Eichloff did kind of shank a punt. We got it around midfield. Here's Porter going back, overthrows this one here. They had us covered pretty well down the field. This drive starts with a minute 35 left in the ball game. All right, this is a good job here of Gary scrambling around through it, coming back to, to Culver really didn't make much. All right, makes quite a bit right here, though. Denson on the corner route. Uh, good job, Rafael. He, he caught the ball, had him open. We delivered it well. He gets out of bounds. Uh, this route was open a couple of times throughout the course of the day, and we hit it. We well, threw a strike. Uh, and again, so, so now we've we're got the ball down around the 25-26 yard line. Not a lot of time left, but there is, certain, there, is, there is certainly enough if you score rapidly, which we did. All right, here Gary is back. And pumps this one and goes ahead and throws. There was an interference call here. Uh, again, John was actually open off down in there. And, uh, obviously, there's interference, I guess, because they called it interference. <laughs> okay, here's Porter come back, throws this ball out here to Denson. He makes a guy miss right here and gets into the end zone. All right, now we're going to go for two to cut the lead to eight. And there's less than a minute left in the ball game now. The same play we saw earlier. A little tough to catch <coughs> Denson. I, I wouldn't want to be a defensive back trying to get that well, guy one on one. Well, as much, as much as you can get the ball to him in the open field, he's going to make you miss. I mean, he is a quality football player. So, again, let's see. Here comes the two point try. I think we're most in. Gary sprints. Good job of Spats. Flips the ball out there. Nice catch of Culver. All right, and there, there, there it is again. All right, here's the same play. Okay, so we've got it. You can see Culver coming loose. Gary throws the ball in stride, throws a little bit behind him, but Culver caught it. Now it's an eight-point ball game with 40 seconds left. We onside kick, do not get the ball. Kansas gets it and runs out the clock. But again, from the standpoint of us still generating some big plays consistently, we did right down to the wire. And this is uh, a defensive unit that was uh, ranked 10th in the nation in total defense. Uh, uh, and you were, ran up uh, 380 yards on them. I mean, that's well, we, we played well in all honesty. I think they had most of their, some of their second unit guys in here this last drive. But uh, uh, again, the, us not moving the ball was, was really not that much a problem. Again, when we got down here, a couple of turnovers. I, I think Gary got a little bit rattled, flung the ball out there a couple of times for some interceptions. But they pressure you enough, and they can run around good enough to cause turnovers. And then they didn't. They, they literally did not turn it over themselves offensively at time, other than right before the half of the fumble punt. And the, on the defensive side of the game, this is a team that averages about 445 yards and, and held uh, Hillary pretty much in check throughout the day. Well, again, Hillary's a great player and means a lot to that football team, and I can't give him enough credit for what he's done for that program. But, yeah, I, I won't say held him in check, but and we got to play a little bit better against the run, run but they're a pretty physical time. I think they're fourth in the country in scoring offense with 40 points mm -hmm. something. Uh, points and average going into this ball game. So again, relatively speaking, yes, we gave ourselves a legitimate chance to win. All right, Oklahoma State losing to Kansas 26-18. Stay with us. The Pat Jones Show will be back right after this.
The Play of the Week is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Number three, Shannon Culver had a big day against the Jayhawks. Ten catches, 131 yards, Coach. Well, again, he has been a guy that has continued to come on and come on, and, and, and this should really do his confidence an awful lot of good. There's the, the long one we threw where, where he adjusted off the slant and came out of it, and here's the touchdown pass again. But uh, Culver has been a little bit, I, I won't say overlooked, but has been somewhat in the shadows of Denson with that move there. But again, this is a very good day statistically. Well, and, and the uh, dimension that Shannon Culver uh, brings to the ball club, uh, the the fact of Porter being able to work more and more with Denson and, and Milliner and Culver and Fred Thomas, this is this is a pretty solid uh, receiving core. Well, it coach. is. Uh, again, with you put Denson out there, and now Bird has is, 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 is done some pretty good things and is getting a little bit healthier. Culver is an interesting story, Robbie, from the standpoint that He's a junior college guy from, from Los Angeles that, that throughout the course of the summer was, was right. He lives right where all that mayhem went on uh -huh. out there. And he's a, he's a nice youngster who, again, has still getting some, got to get adjusted somewhat to this level. But on the same hand that he's been, he's seen a lot of things. He saw a lot of things this summer. And now he is continuing to get better and better. And I got to give the guy an awful lot of credit. Like I say, he is a he is becoming a very, very good college receiver. All right, we'll take one final time out here. Stay with us. Magic moment is next, and we'll talk about uh, the Colorado Golden Buffaloes coming up next week. The Pat Jones Show will be back right after this. This Cowboy Magic Moment is brought to you by Johnson's of Kingfisher and Chickasha. Oklahoma State played West Virginia on a snow-covered field in the 1987 Sun Bowl. Sean Mackey of the Cowboys stopped Major Harris on a two-point conversion try with just 1.13 left to preserve Oklahoma State's thrilling 35-33 win. The OSU coaching staff had the Mountaineers' final play diagnosed on the sideline before the snap. It was another cowboy magic moment. And what'd you do there? Did you draw, did you draw your defense in the snow or well, what? Well, uh, in all honesty, we didn't have the play di you know, diagnosed. What we had done is, which you classically do on a, a two-point try, that was actually a two-point try to tie the ball game. That was one of those tennis matches back and forth mm -hmm. all day long. Thurma Thomas had a great day, but we, lie, we let them line up in the formation, saw the formation, took a timeout, which is nothing revolutionary in all honesty. And again, of course, Major Harris was so dangerous. That was the West Virginia club that the next year went on, and I think if I remember correctly, ultimately played in the Fiesta Bowl for the national championship. Mm -hmm. Major Harris went on and had a great career. The interesting thing about that is, as best I recall, is that tight end that caught that ball was an ineligible receiver. He was covered up by an unbalanced and he got to scrambling around. The youngster was just standing out there and Harris throws the ball to him. And fortunately, I don't think it would have been called because you couldn't see lines. The snow had covered the lines, right. all this kind of stuff. And he caught it and we got it and got him down. And everybody's hollering. I remember getting into the, after the, in the post game deal, somebody went coach from upstairs hard. You said, you realize that tight end was ineligible? I said, no, I didn't realize anything at that point <laughs> other than we won the ball. Right, we won the game. Uh, now you got to go back on the road, Pat, and take on a nationally ranked Colorado team that uh, was uh, pummeled by Nebraska this past weekend. Do you glean anything out of that? Well, I mean, it is very, that's surprising to say the least. It didn't surprise me that Nebraska won in Lincoln, but 52 to 7. I mean, certainly Nebraska put an exclamation point or sent a message or whatever right. you want to say as far as Colorado. I, I still think and thought going into that ball game that Colorado's defensive personnel is probably the best in this league. I haven't at this point seen any of that ball game on some highlights, but uh, again, we had the near miss with Colorado last year. We had them beat down here with four seconds left in the ball game, whatever it was. They faked the field goal, uh, which I still think is the gutsiest call I've ever seen in my life, to beat us down here. And again, and Colorado's got good people. I'm sure Bill will regroup them and, and they'll play it hard. I think it's homecoming and Boulder and all those sorts of things. And so as soon as we wrap this show up, I'm going to go over there and we're going to start working on fakes because we're going to fake <laughs> something. I don't know what right now, but something's going to get faked. All right. Very good, Pat, and good luck to you. Cowboys, will, it'll be no fake. They'll show up out there in Boulder. Uh, we're out of time. Join us again next week for the Pat Jones Show. For Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University, I'm Robbie Robertson. Goodbye, everybody.